everybody, today I'm going to be giving you some tips on what to do when a ghost attacks. This situation is very rare, although when you watch ghost programs on the television there seems to be an awful lot of that thing going on, mostly in America. But anyway, when a ghost attacks, the best thing to do is to try and get out of the area because then the attack will stop. So if you were getting attacked in the bathroom, then you need to get out of the bathroom and somewhere safe in your house or just try and get out of the house as fast as you can. But sometimes you can't get out the room if you're being um, badly attacked. Um, so the best thing to do would be to pray because you can't see what is um, attacking you so the way to fight back and to stop the attack is to pray and pray and pray out loud I would say you would um, do, say the Lord's Prayer it is a very good prayer and it's an easy one to say because everybody knows that prayer also um, you can if if one of your friends or family members is being attacked if you put white salt a line of white salt in front of them then that's a barrier and the demonic or ghost cannot get past that barrier another thing you can do with the white salt is draw draw a circle around you with it and it cannot get you um through that circle um, also, holy water is also very good, um, so you can just splash that around the room um, if you've got an evil spirit in your house or people are constantly being attacked in that room, that's a very good thing to do, although sometimes holy water can enrage a spirit. So the best thing to do would probably um, to get information off to your um local church um, priest or um, vicar um, to see if they could come and bless your house um, if the attacks are constant and it's putting your life and other people's in danger. Um, there, there's not an awful lot you can do. You can get crucifixes um, and hold them out and put them up around the house. Um, and read Bible verses um, constantly, um, but, but there's not an awful lot you can do except get advice off your local priest or vicar, because they can then cast the spirit out of your house. Uh, if you need any information on um, any further information on this topic then please comment below and I will try and answer your questions. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and found it very useful information. Um, so thank you for watching and goodbye!